Hey everybody, this is Hakobo with my fourth Maya tutorial today. You'll have to check the other ones out. I'm on a roll today. But anyways, um, I was just going to talk about like inserting edge loops and kind of a cool thing I realized where sort of the line of flow is kept. Um, and as far as panning around, um, I've scaled down my camera so I can pan around this object pretty easily. Um, the camera is pretty big, so as soon as I try to pan, it it goes around like that because the pan camera is pretty large so if you scale down your cameras that'll actually make it a lot easier to move around something like this anyway um, I'm gonna turn off my caps at the top but I was making a pillar um, I'm gonna do insert edge loop I have it um, on my bin, my own one I've, shelf I've created, you can go new shelf and uh, you know add anything using control and shift if you need to um, but anyways I'm gonna insert this edge loop and what I wanted was a bunch of sort of triangle shapes so what I'm gonna do is right click and then go into vertex and go around and select every other um, and I can go hit this button, so I'm only viewing this object, or actually, um, no, I want, I would have to have the whole thing selected before I did that. Now I can go in and just select the vertexes that I want, because before it was just keeping only what I had selected, so you want to sec select your entire object before you do that. And grab all these. Almost done. And oops, I well I should have set the input so it's odd, but it, it's a off camera based selection, so it'll select all of them. And I wanted to kind of extrude these in a bit. Um, I find you always want to use the blue one when you're working like with cylinder shape. Now these are extruded in, and I wanted this to kind of go all the way around. And I said, well, crap, I have to redo that every single time and go and move these and it was actually a lot bigger one and I was kind of creating an art shape so it was going to be a lot of work but then I went in and realized if you do it below because um, I was originally going to insert all the edge loops at the beginning but if you click on it here it actually mimics that exactly so I can just do that there and boom and so right, right click go to face extrude in and and insert the edge loop again so it keeps the line of flow the same um, and anyways but then my problem was I wanted the bottom to be flat and so I was like well dang it um, am I gonna have to go through started going through every single vertex there's a lot and like flatten them out but then I realized um, a way around this well as you get closer to the bottom it kind of flattens out more which did a lot of it for me but um, if you go in and you take that edge and you hit the R key and you can scale that until it's completely flat and now you can you know take this and kind of had a it extruded out at the end um, like that so yeah it, it keeps so it keeps the line of can be used a lot if you have something like that you just scale it down um, under options and you know make sure make sure it's completely zero you'd have to find them but yeah I hope that was helpful and if we look at this it's got that cool triangular shape and is flat there at the bottom.